Okay, I just picked up this 2015 Ninja 300 SE. Uh, crazy cheap. I don't want to tell you how cheap or you'll, you'll be upset at me. But uh, it only has 700 miles on it. It's been down several times. As you can see, that uh, rear brake is all cracked off and jacked. Uh, but we're gonna do an oil change today. Uh, this like super cloudy and sketchy. It's probably never been changed before since it only has 700 miles. So we're gonna uh, figure out how Down to do here on the right side, you can see the drain plug under here. It is a 17 millimeter socket. Since the main fairing here has been smashed off, uh, I think I could almost get to that with a socket if I had a, just a wrench, I could. But uh, to make it easier, I'm just gonna take this bolt off and peel this bottom fairing away. Five millimeter. Now, it gives me enough clearance to lift it up high enough to get this on it. All right, after we break it loose, we can just unscrew it by hand. Make sure, of course, you have a drain pan underneath to catch it. Holding the fairing up with my arm and let it go. Ooh, that is gray. Nasty. Okay, if we come around more to the front of the bike, you can see the Canon air filter here. It conveniently has uh, also a 17 millimeter. Uh, hex head on the top of it so you can grab that with the socket to get it off easily. Now uh, if this fairing still existed of course we would have to remove that. Sorry I don't uh, have one to show you how to Okay I also rarely ever start an oil change without a roll of this. It comes in very right, When you take this filter off oil is going to start pouring out of it so as you can see I just covered up the pipes and the bottom of the fairing with some aluminum foil to keep that off. Alright this one wasn't too bad to get started. That's where I love can in. Those hex heads help so much. Now you can just open it by hand and watch our foil do its job. The bit's gonna leak out, then just take this thing all the way off and dump the rest out. So I just unscrewed the oil cap and uh, underneath it. It has more gunk, so I'm gonna make sure to clean that out really well. That's disgusting. You know what? It was worth it to me to put like an extra quart in or so and uh, let it drain out before I finish this just to get some of that junk out of there. All right, I cleaned off the drain plug and the crush washer that came with it. You should replace these each time, but I don't have another one right now, so I'm gonna reuse it one time and make sure I change it the next time. This is my first non-BMW bike, and the first thing I noticed was uh, all my other bikes have a little magnet at the end of this that collects all of the metallic particles so they don't keep swishing around in your engine. Uh, so I'll probably find one of those for this bike as well. Got a new K&N filter here. AutoZone told me it was KN303 for this bike, so hopefully it fits. Oh yeah, here's the old one, 303. That off. They uh, pre-lubricate this ring for you already, otherwise you would just run a little bit of new oil around it to get it lubricated. Spin it back down and then I'm gonna probably just hand tighten this guy. <clears throat> yeah, we might give it a little bit of pressure with... Just a, just a smidge. Don't need to make it too tight or it just makes it harder for you to get it off later. And then we're going to come back and uh, tighten him up. You should probably use a torque wrench and it's usually around 20 newton meters I think but I always just get him on there really snug. Not too tight to break anything but it's never leaked on. Alright now we just add the new oil. I always use the Shell Rotella T6 because it's super cheap in all my bikes. Uh, just get you a little funnel port in here where it says 2.3 quarts. Okay after you add the oil you can come down here to the sight glass and you can see the line right here. You want it to be right in the middle of the sight glass which it is. Uh, I will give Kawasaki credit for uh, putting the sight glass here where you put the oil in on all my other BMW bikes. The sight glass is on the other side of the bike so you have to walk back and forth a lot. Um, so we're gonna put our cap back on now. and uh, we're gonna start the bike and run it for a minute because the oil 
there's no oil all the way through the filter yet so once it warms up the oil will go through the filter and then we can recheck our sight glass top it off if needed and that's it you've changed your oil now you can dispose of all your trash uh, I just poured the old oil into an empty one of these using the funnel take it back to any hardware or hardware store uh, auto store and they will throw that oil away for you for free see see how easy that is do not pay somebody two hundred dollars to do that you can do it in 30 minutes if you make a whole video out of it or you can do it in 10 or 15 yourself